Um, I also think that Lev, sorry, Heretics so, have kind of proved heretics in the past. To rebound. Um, we saw what heretics are the on ones that started the, the Neon and then went away here? from the Neon how because they, they were getting anti So they also know how to anti the Neon. That, that's like my main, uh, my main thing. Like that people would just get the attack Odin on against the attack. them. So I, I think this is pretty smart from... Whoa. So like <laughs> pretty game. smart from Lev to change this one up. Zeno is still alive though, and there's still four players. Now three. As you can see, I mean, Rienz is going to get uh, caught here. Tex gets unlucky not to get one. Does a little bit of damage. And they didn't follow through with the pushover towards A. Oh, it's probably a done round because of that. First map of Icebox. The Sentinels trying to overstay their welcome. Go down early. Right now, it's going to be a five versus four post plant for Team Heretics. They love these situations. Rienz has that space waiting for that flank but it's not coming in so why didn't they i i think they were too scared of showing four people here and they would just take map control i only thought process front but it's gonna be so difficult to break through even i think they had to at least like two three person push they just got no time like we literally just got no time for this didn't get the value they were expecting the horns very good though and that does spur on the viator the time yeah it's done already there's just so many bodies in the way, there's not enough time for Aspas to do this. A valiant attempt, but Heretics hold firm. A good effort for Lev. If yep. they had numbers, if they had more time to develop that, uh, yeah, well played. Sure. They had that seize, they had Could the have been a bit better. For the retake. But Team I, I think, that, I think this all crumbles. Yeah. It kind of crumbled a little bit over up, towards Scythe. Maybe Tex has to kill one, especially if he's buying a Sheriff on a Cypher. Second of all, I think if they push aggro A here, you got to commit. The, the spike is going down when they're at their furthest point away from this. Uh, and the fact that they have full info but here, like they never, no one ever has to worry about this. Then they can just put their alarm a. board, etc., down there. Really um, yeah, it wasn't great from Lev. Not gonna get any kills with this. Team the, that the sheriff on the cipher, that is also a little bit mad, yeah. But, but sometimes, sometimes people hit shots, and the camera can be enough if you just wanted to get info. At all on that ice box in terms of pushing through places. Yeah, if you're doing a full one push. I really strongly want the Cypher to have like, more info around the map. Oh, that's nice though. Yeah, comms came in and they did the damage on this one. Okay, let's hold up. We got a, we got a potential on this eco. Yeah, if he gets a kill, he gets his ult. Very heads up work. They've taken a lot of damage for it, or at least Boo has. So you've got to be a bit cautious about that. We are down to just the classics left, though, for Lev. Keeping in mind, Team Heretics, they don't really do all that well deeper into the tournaments. They win this series. They're in the top three. 30 seconds left. That's mad, isn't it? We've seen some of the players on Lev. They've made it all the way. They've gone the distance. So it's on them whether or not they want to get another trophy under the belt or... <laughs> yeah, time gets a little bit low here, but with the positioning, you know, that's so fine. That about so just make sure that there's no Fnatic chance of them losing this one. So Over much Uto back to Saint. Ten seconds a big left. win here is going to set that up. Spike planted. Okay, Benji going to find King. So far, I mean, I was looking to see if maybe Tex could cost them a little bit, but again, they could still lose Boo and they'll still be fine. The bonus will be preserved. Looks like Mini Boo is the one, the first point of contact, trying to get Coming some more kills counts. here to get closer to his showstopper. I don't think we're gonna. At some point, Team Heretics are gonna get him any orbs here. So they don't go down with that spike. They're choosing that spike out to go to. It's only. <laughs> Wait, do you have to double stopper. check? But a good off angle. Yeah, might find one. That's really nice. Tex is normally pretty sharp with that. To be Not fair, here. he does take down one. Does Boo get to? The weapon? Yeah, okay. So yeah, they, they keep, they keep, keep the main guns. They were okay, looking to have, like, give me a strong bonus so for uh, Heretics Byways. At least be somewhat protected here. A little bit of danger to it. But the ult for Aspas is here early, Josh. Very early. Guardians up for the attackers. That means that some of these walls are going to be cut through like butter. Tree room at A on C side as well. There's a couple of angles there where you think you're safe, but you're not, especially that revolving door. So Team Heretics. Gonna be able to set the tempo here, the pace of the game, going into this bonus round. Right, let's keep an eye on Aspas. He's the he's the main the one on this. Showstopper is over towards over that towards C A. Side. We get. Uh, e. Okay, he's got out of there. Got a little worried that. <laughs> yeah. We got TP. Point, no pushed up this round, so 
into aspect of it, but King. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, <laughs> sure. Go on. Don't know the trade I'd there. That was good enough on a bonus though. Probably not. Yeah, uh, Heretics come out on top of this. Free. Those trips from Lev are over towards that beast. They might camera. even be able to get a good plant here as well. Showstopper still yeah, we get a good here. plant for Mound on this Waiting one. When does Aspas want to go with Assault? They, I mean, they know down. they're going to use Assault. Are we trying to tether him once he goes through? With the flashes right now, the spread coming out from Team Heretics. Some on the site, some off. Good map control. Yeah, I like this from Wu. He goes close, someone far back shoots this. Wu gets to be played on off this. Aspas with a quick clear on Benji and Tex on the follow up. It's Boo and Wu to try and dig their heels in and Wu's position is nasty to deal with but his yeah, and he might be able to he might be able to smoke himself off here forced off the angle forced oh. to fight and forced to be cleared it's boo now in a 1v2 the guardian the guy was clutched before but this is a lot to ask the bit of a high low here to handle as well okay, nice Not shots from i mean aspas played this, this very well as well he didn't get traded from using his ult. That was the main thing. Damage done, and this is looking a lot like the start to their I think, um, ice box game. Wood there, yeah, he does heavy commits, especially with the plant being so strong over towards mound. He's got to tuck back in. But he had already decided in his head that he was swinging her. About that start. Looking to some of these other players, it was Boo's game last game, but we need to see these other players getting involved. Mini Boo, yeah, he's not. <laughs> He's kind of in there in a, a few different agents. Neon is probably not one of his stronger ones. He's on Ray's here to make a difference. But again, I look to Benji. I look to Rien's. They're really yeah, and they got they got out towards well. A for free here, pretty much apart from a fade Soba. eye. So it makes a lot a of sense that Heretics are going for this now. See how he handles the pressure. Door being spammed out by the Odin attack side Odin you don't get to see that that often usually the defenders yeah and I wonder if this is like the game plan that they were going to use against the neon just creeping in anyway towards C and towards B so it's on text with the kill trips the camera on that A site playing for that retake and you boo one away we've got nothing to stop this team heretics usually so good at closing out the start looking at the money here right everyone heretics can't buy next three people on left so whoever loses this left too I'm looking at Benji but I'm also looking at kind of common text very mindful in their positioning. Very aware that this could be the approach coming in, sitting quite yeah, they kind of get good info. I don't know what the homework's like once they realize that the cipher trips are over towards A, but I get a better understanding of the actual setup. With NG here, they want to pivot B. But obviously they haven't discovered Benji yet, so they have no idea. The fake comes A, and now the pivot comes towards Blue Door. Yep, really trying to lean through, but my eyes seconds. are still on Aspas. Whoa, that, is, that is everything. That is everything into this round. That one pick. Really nice shot. You see, see now, twice now, this, this is where is Benji's done like really wide swings. Right now, they can't they saw it over towards Heaven earlier. It's just heaven and great waterfall. nade to stop them from getting over towards sight as well, so they can't capitalize on the Omen Flash or Fade Eye. I guess impact to remove players away from at least holding this, but time to go for left. Not much to set this in motion either. It's dry fights. Very little util. King just going to take a stride forward, but he's being his match on the other side. And Heretic's just holding the line. Com does well to find two, but Rienta's position is a problem. They can't clear it in time. Yeah, shout, shout out to Benji, man. As soon as this kill happens, it, back away. everything's Heretics easy. Have got a third. Team Heretics is so strong. Once they're able to get um, Curse to Spirit, the thank you very much, man. 15 months. Off. That's when 14, they love it. They wait, 14 succeed. months in a row, 15 months. Yeah, Let thank you so much, man. Appreciate the tier one. And, stop and the Toasty9 as well we with the tier one. Thank you for the two months, bro. Game yet. Appreciate you both. Thank Will you for doing that. Will we see one at all on this map of Lotus? Because if not, Team Heretics, they're just moving around so well. Benji getting that fight, winning it on Aspas at B, and then coming in with that audible. But it's pre-planned. When we look at Team Heretics, it's usually those... Elaborate plans are baked in with the coaches' comms and the time. Uh, and like we said, Here, this one should be worth really two. They call these mid round audibles. But I like the plan. You saw it set up so far in advance. Benji's waiting outside C until it was time to walk up B. Mixed by for Lev, just the Vandal on Aspas. Never just with him, though, is it? 
leading yeah, the scoreboard. Um, <laughs> big performance here. Dude, this, right. this skin is outrageous, son. And the question with the operator is one that's quite poignant in my mind as well. Uh, uh, it always cracks me up, man. Every time I see some mad stuff in this game, I always like put my brain into someone that is like playing CS maybe for their whole of their like kind of gaming career or whatever, and they're just like, let's let's check in, let's see what Valorant's like, man. Let's just let's just have a little look. Imagine that is the first five seconds of you checking out what Valorant is. Guy spamming, <laughs> a guy just spamming a wall with a gun that shoots crazy, crazy fast. And then, like, what is that? A hamster? Just flying around your screen? <laughs> just, it cracks me up, bro. It's so crazy. Zeno, very precarious position here. Protects his timing is always so good. Just give this guy a sheriff. He's actually outrageous. Yeah, I mean, that's why he buys it on the pistol, because like he's a beast with that. Oh, not bad time. Okay. But the lockdown is in play. We're forced to respect that. See Calm evacuating. 30 seconds. And actually. Does King get out? Yeah, he does. He'll be fine. So they're going to be forced to back away from this. Uh, Spike, boo, Spike, Spike, boo, 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 boo. What is he doing? I just sound he like had zero idea, idea I'm pretty no, sure. Okay, that's big. But I mean, honestly, hell, that just got way too close. But all three players, especially from CT, maybe not. Maybe you catch them off. Massive, big information. Ado is everything here. Yeah. You opt to invest it. It's a stinger and a clap. Oh, Ooh. that's a shot and a half. Boo does become a ghost here now as Rienz and Benji get up to try and hold this down. That's Rifles that. in hand, yes. And time on their side, but that's bass. Beautiful moves, but it doesn't matter. But he's put standing. to bed, but now a 1v2. It's still a game on. Rienz the drop down. Oh, Rienz, you got to run. Oh, oh, oh bro, he fluffed. Oh, he messed up the timing, mean, yeah, dude. He, he messed up the uh, jump. Oh no, that is a devastating way to lose this one. Shout out to Com, shout out to Aspas once again for getting the kill set. I really think they messed up in the three and three though. That was not oh, the good movement enough. here, dude. Break it down for me as well, like genuinely, because uh, okay. look at these situations. That's fine. That can happen. Some of the kills there early on. You, you gotta, you gotta play for your fade out here. I feel like I know they're eco and you want to save it, but. Going back Dude, that fade eye was that lovely, Odin man. That, that fade eye from Com. He could have popped that night ball. He could have sat in a corner. They had a nice bait and switch setup going on. Odin sits in the corner. As soon as he goes burr, his teammate peeks from elbow, and they, they got this crossfire going. But instead, it's just these one by the one fights yeah. right now, and Lev is so good at those. You can't give them those opportunities. Spot on. Cover going out. For now. Uh, very different look. Um, we do see a, a shaky purchase from Heretics. We have the Judge coming out, two Vandals, and then the Sheriff and the Stinger. Um, Woot has, I mean, we've seen some oh. nasty shots from this position. Oh. So, oh, <laughs> nice look. Timing, Good info, nice. three people here. Safety bound, yeah, but the away. problem is the Heretics just not in a Good position to actually be able to capitalize or do anything off of this, down. really. Good job working with that chaos as well, led from multiple different angles, like whack-a-mole. Nightfall for the defense side. But the slip through from Minibu. Mazino's a wet, but the shot is sharp. They fall for the attack side. Oh, and the <laughs> oh the side, hold up. Yeah, dude, Com committed crazy off, off angle. He went for an off angle, but it's not really an off angle because you're jiggling that because of back of sight. I think he messed up there as well. Take him away, leaving Tex and Aspas. Now Aspas taking his time over towards top side. The timing right for Tex. Brings it to a 3v2. It's These guys manageable. need to just... But now it's all on Aspas. A 1v2. If he gets a kill, he gets his all. No time on their side. The double They're peak. looking for the fight. They get nice. it. Nicely yeah, nice done swings. The Ooh, they kind of stole around here. I'm not going to lie. Similar to what happened on Icebox, actually. Yeah. Lev wins off the back of... Yeah, Minibu did great. Walking over towards Team stairs. Heritage found the timing. They weren't expecting here. him so, and so close. And Fadal was great. So Team Heretics might have actually found their footing into this game off the back of that. Yeah, th this one from Com here doesn't massively make sense. He's trying to get to the most off angle he possibly can. But because that little cubby backside exists, as long as they do that together, they're going to be fine. Minibu, very happy about that round. I mean, this game feels close, right? You've had some really close cut situations. You've got a four-play stack over towards A. The sheriffs, the vandal with Aspas is so dangerous they're already held up here no damage achieved until then reveal on position they want to brawl here and they're gonna get it yeah Aspas and these other guys over away. towards a main really Take needed to bail out, out these players whoa is that not an is that not an ult in a 4v4 eco this gun's down here though 
King's got the rifle. The other two. Mazina, dude. Every Texas time I look at Mazina, this guy's on one HP. Units. What's going on there? This is crazy. That <laughs> this is the second King time in this game. Pushing through anywhere. They knew that so many players were towards that A side. They said, they scared. They pop that Viper's Pit. It's going to lock down this area. The Alarm Bot is going to trigger if anyone comes from that blue room. Now all the focus is towards Heaven, towards Waterfall. But they also have to think about that third three-prong attack from mid. If one goes down, Tex has his hat. They to don't get the info really the have the guns Benji to spam scary. other than it's King. It's all on you, buddy, right now. And Benji sitting up towards the top side there. Spammed and actually connected. Hey, how have they... He keeps his cool, though. Doesn't show his hand. The other two sitting by blue room. But Mazino gets curious. We know what happened to the cat. Two mollies now for the spike. And it's just going their way. They found some sort of safety, some sort of security after what was a, a highly volatile yeah, and round. Look at the start here. Get a, get a, get a bigger win because Aspash uses yeah, all into this. The crumbles, but There's a definite chance, though. Josh, These two are so isolated messy. on that one. I don't know what the util was in uh, A main here. And I guess there was none. Other than smoke to block vision. They're not pressured by these chaotic rounds all too often. A lot of the time, they get to move up wherever they want to go and One just get their sight exec five. off. And if they get stalled out from whatever piece of util, they wait and they go again, or they just go to the other side. Right now, they actually have to get down in the mud, fight it out at rubble, disjointed, that mini blue on his lonesome, uh, gets the kill, gets the pain shells that. down to create a little buffer so we can go for more. But Team Heretics is coming out on top in these mid Got some low monies again. It's another important round for Lev. Another slow opening. Yeah, look and see how they deal with mound control here, because this time around it's Aspas over this side. May have noted that Tex was very quick. It's uh, very just, fast uh, for who at the moment, clearing all the B. BC default, Ooh. yeah, Aspas has Zen to get out of there. Back. So clearing through the opening space, also towards A, we are seeing an individual effort, Wait. and they just don't expect that to be real. Oh, the <laughs> timing! <laughs> Gets away come come with wrapped murder. the uh, Prowler They're all the way boys. around. Felt like the timing was right, and look at this anti air setup. Heretics, after they lose that A space, might want to go C here. Yeah, and we got uh, Aspas is trying to bait so this they one. Can make a little bit of pressure towards B, open that revolving door, make some sort of pressure. Right now, it's going to be so hard to get through. Mazino has that stun. He's at waterfall. The crossfire setup. If this stun right, comes this out, is it just be too strong from Lev here. This attack. Lev is in the perfect place for this. Oh, Three of them wait, here. we Tex didn't shoot the fade eye. And Minibu takes his head. Aspas on the trade, tries to fall away. Nice, the Prowler and Mazino trying to buy him a couple of very precious seconds. Didn't shoot down the, towards water. Didn't shoot the fade. I, I can't even be mad at Tex for not wanting to shoot it. But. Being displayed. Lev fully in control here. And again, like the previous round, they need to get some sort of space going on. So they tap the spike. They're they moving tap the spike into the go to A, but they got to break the door, so it becomes too site. obvious. And then Com has Teva. They could just stop right them. Now, Benji peels off. It's all on yeah, just wants to save the Uto. I think that is a smart play on this one. I like this from Benji. This is good. You would imagine they both stick together. Perfect, or it could all be for They know about him. Do you make sound? No, there's a chance. That's all that Aspas needs. As Boo, a one v four. Hey, Icebox, he was good. Uh, they were really on top of this one. I, I, I guess someone heard him. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you can too see hard. Yeah, happens. okay, There's really well played from Lev, man. That, that was impressive. Really <clears> there, the 2v4 like was actually really impressive how they played it with the 4. want to adjust around C. It felt very headstrong on approach, and it was very red. Yeah, I would kind of like someone to shoot the fade eye, but I, I get it. Breach has you to allow Aspas is just holding the angle. The you probably need to try to shoot Aspas, really. They're getting disrupted. Lev is doing a really good job of getting in front of them. And I, I love at the end of the round there, the fundamentals from Lev, the eye, understanding it's a four on two, okay, cool, that's waiting for the, yeah, the push okay. from Benji, trying to equalize, isolate a fight, catch someone in the back, moving together after they kill him, make sure that they're not, when they win the round, they're doing it with three alive. Right there, they get it with four alive. Beautifully played. And Team Heretics, they're still in the lead. I'm looking to see if they can nice string team. rounds together, though. Aggression over towards mound. Looks like their first put of call. More often than not, they'd like to get cut off by the door. But this time around, you got Tex maybe watching that. So I quite like this Wait, adjustment. Benji? Hold on, this is a problem. The <laughs> Man, the <laughs> omen flash was unreal. I thought Tex was holding Dude, that. Chat. This should be an yeah. instant speed up. Heretics someone does this, someone double check this for me. Or someone that saw this. Lev opened the so door, right? Or, or am I completely off? Because I'm Lev checking the door here. So is Benji not miles away from the door? Lev opened the door here. Being in the right spot. And Tex on this regress. I mean, talk about feast or famine. Because of the one person over towards him? <laughs> Too many targets. A nice try, but it wasn't going to work out. 
They're going to at least have a good idea where Mazzino is, but it's calm. Uh, individual well, efforts aren't going to win you this round. No one able to bail them out. They got to go for it, though. Dude, what a reply from Heretics, man. Moving, at least in their direction. Yeah, everyone this survives. Bizarre, but three people like to rebuy armor, either. but money-wise, that's incredible. In um, a little dependent on Benji doing well in that situation, which he did. Again, I mean, this flash was perfect. To move up, get that control, get that yeah, I think the Teva held them in place and the flash hit them as well. The site. Lev presses the issue. Blind they blind try to fight that mound. They open the door. Benji's like, wait, what do I hear? Turns around, catches two on the side with a off the back. Yeah, of the that, that was not so the play. Opening for Team Heretics in that round, but oh, you want to pass the crossfire? Sure, round. I'll open Sometimes the door for you. Lev gets the better of Heretics. That was nuts. These chaotic openings. That's really the name of the game at the moment. You do feel that if it does kind of I, I, devolve, sounds like it's a negative, but it's not really. But it did it a it couple of rounds ago where Aspas opened the door to rotate through to B. Oh, that, okay, so I, maybe I'd a read. But for me in those they really do that often? It's really risky. Style at times. Especially as like maybe BC defaults are becoming like way more popular. It's not like heretics are slouches. You've got mini boo on the side, you've got some you know, big players there as well, but. I am impressed with Heretic so far for keeping their cool in this one because Lev have been very, very divisive with all their aggressive looks here, the mound approach, the play towards rubble we've seen. They've started to really press the issue. We're seeing that same sort of chaos though also reflected in the scoreline, the back and yes. forth. You get one round, I get one round, you get one constantly into the six there. to three scoreline. And the only reason there why here. Team Heretic has that three round buffer is from that pistol round there. and that second round conversion as well. These are sloppy, you're right. And it, maybe this timeout Careful tells here. them to play the game a little bit differently, but again, Lev is starting with a 4A setup here. Going Last time we saw this was on their low buy. Yeah, and and it got pretty close, I want to say. You got the C's nade combo. C's paint shells, stun as well. This is nice Team from Heretics, Heretics though. The they're, they're doing to enough yeah, to make it look like they want to pop out towards A, the, the people on A that normally rotate towards B is still A. Because then he gets a fight like that, but where's the trade? That where's great the omen There's flash, though. Com gets oh my god. Back in. Woot's in danger. That's a huge omen. Wait, he got one. Somehow hits that shot. Oh, Benji he reloaded before he got another here. Time as King claws him back. Now no, they can't win Texan this one. King. They can't get away with winning this one. It's into. such a bad plan. This it should be so fine for Lev. They've got to try and deal with them here. Who are making a run? They can get on this. Orb is on the spike. Hey, just stick this. Connect the smokes together and get in there, but the defuse is coming. There's no time. Surely there's no time here. Yeah, oh. Oh. Wait, it was close, man. It, <laughs> it was close. <laughs> oh that my god, so it was close. I can't believe we got the fast kill here. Again, an another chaotic situation yeah. going in there. You're right. Back Where is forth. that backup? Yeah, they only the just win around. In there. The door is closed. <laughs> One of those situations where the communication needs to be on point. Where are you pushing together? You want to take some space. But some of the teammates were going towards Waterfall, one towards Heaven, one towards Blue Door. Way too split apart. That is the name of Lev's game, not Ooh. Team Heretics. Team Heretics, Yoink. they go together, they move together. Yeah, they kind of just stole this one. Right there, they get spread apart. Dude, what the hell? Kakuka. Kakuka in YouTube chat. Just becoming the Euler. 50 gifted. Thank you so much. If you got gifted from Kakuka in YouTube, make sure you say uh, thank you. 50. Clearing through mound. Holy hell. Clear on the Dude, we got so many YouTube memberships these days. Thank you so much, Kukuka. Appreciate you. Simple. The problem with what's happening right now is this lockdown is pulling everyone from Lev over you to C. You went for 50 it's as well. You're a so lunatic. Thank you so through. much, dude. Nobody's defending A right now. It's a five on five. It's going to be soon. Yeah, re clear with the Prowler through middle. They're, they're, you can see the Lev starting to question mark this. And the pause from Heretics is... If Lev won the round before? Yeah. Paranoia, but they just got the defuse. Fades, like, only just. Could have a look. Speaking of paranoia, this was nice from Lev, though. We, we got an eye out towards A, cleared really everything. Could be yeah, we got three here. person stacked towards C. This is Definitely a hard round right here. The flank coming in the back. Right now, Benji set up on that B lurk. But still, Team Heretics running out of time. Shout out to YouTube chat as well. See a lot of W's, see a lot of thank yous. We love that. Where to go. Finally, calm. He's going to be the only defender towards A right now. Left. Here comes the ult. TP to tree. And he sticks there. it. I mean, Com could it's win this. In the middle, though. Oh, it's this a nice huge. kill. If they Dude, Com this, should win this. <sighs> ah, why did I talk, bro? Ah, that's my fault. Well there, but for now, the carpet's rolled out on the round. Yeah, you can blame me for this one. I'll take the I'll take the, the full for this one. Unable to get towards that ult. I hadn't done it for a long time, man. I was long overdue, something like this. 
Maybe taking back some of the tempo of this yeah. game, taking away that chaotic element. Long, long overdue. Maybe save the chaotic element out of the equation right there. Heretics pump the brakes. They were getting low on time. It was getting a little bit scary for them, but that was actually a really good audible from them, being able to use that. Dude, I thought he was going to, like, you know that really tuck in. And I thought this guy was gonna jump peak or going to jump peek or something. As soon as this out. guy on B goes down, so I, I think it kind of messes stuff out. Around, yeah. That's going to be... They had the perfect setup for Bay into that rotate at B Ray. as well. Just inserting the players into the proper positions. Team Heretics is doing a really good job in some of these mid rounds, which we weren't seeing so much on Icebox that much. We had to wait for those timeouts to come in, the coaches to start talking for them to be able to get those off. Dude, right still now, seeing Web people. This, this is the mo Look at how many uh, people got the green names in YouTube. It's wild right now. Falling between the fingertips here. It's not completely out of the realms of reality, but as I said, the chaos being quelled here. We're starting to see control back in Heretics' hands. Uh, just kind of tempering the pace, but we know what level. Have you had players not ask you to talk about them during the clutches? Have you not seen the? Have you not seen the darker clip? The consequences. <laughs> Where darker blames so well, me for whiffing. Slow. Looks like they might start a fast here. And it might be the death of them. There's the Seize Nade combo. Mini Boo takes a lot of damage for that. And it's not like Lev gonna take their foot off the gas. They can double down. And we'll so go many one people here. Yeah. down here comes the rocket. Dude, again? Right. Yeah, every single There's time they have Razor, they fight this. Leave it down to 4v3 and the Chaos looks so oh, controlled in the hands of Ivan Tilt. Oh, God. Where the hell did that was a 2v4 and these two have managed to trade out. I imagine over they like overheated and didn't swing proper, but he has his camera to work I would have to watch with, it back. He's against Rans and Benji, the closers of this team. Dude, they're still going to win this round? Sure, no Benji's not on his main They got double Cypher, Molly. With that turret up, the alarm bot. They got double Molly. The they play at the back. Now his position is going to get revealed. Weird though, because they don't want to throw their mollies because they don't want to reveal their position. He has to get past this Viper wall as well. It's quite telling. At least they see no one, no challenge, but you know, they could be playing timings, they could be by tree. But to find both is difficult. He's looking to try and clear towards tree first. Spams out again. Update on the progress. So sure that tree. GPS basically telling you where he is. And Tex is running out of time. <laughs> that looks so good. Eight Especially if they both show after that, that would be so funny. Lev um, keeping control of the chaos for a while, it was, but an, it was a nice half man. Um, big deal as well. Thank you so much, man. Thank you in the YouTube chat as well. Appreciate the membership. Trade in any phone in any condition, guaranteed, and get eight hundred dollars off the new Galaxy Z Fold Six. Ask for free Verizon. mappers, yeah. Well confirmed, yeah, but there's a chance. That'd be cool. I think four is enough here. It's enough if you get the pistol. Like it, it means it's doable. <clears throat> Do I have the darker clip? Dude, I wonder where the darker clip is. It's from like a year ago. I'm sizzling the bunnies are doing good. The bunnies are hating us less and less, which is cool. Hamsters are just crazy shy. That's also okay, we let them do their own thing. Damn, they, me they messed up the ad, so they did it again. They cut off some of the ads, so they did the ad again. Back to it. Don't want to get fined. Production just getting fined out here. Another third map? Yeah, if Heretics win a pistol, it's pretty much done.
Do one in the pistols. No one shoots the eye in the corner as well. They kind of get free info here. Yeah. Muted? Sorry, chat. Sorry, 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 sorry. But a big gamble trap set up from Team Heritage. Who locked in? Yeah, dude, I was just staring at the minimap the whole time. And you know what? I saw I saw chat going so fast in the corner of my eye. I was like, wait, what is going on here? That timing, but Tex, he's expecting some sort of push towards C. Lev. Professional streamer, of course, yeah. Prowler, going to be handled. Keeps him very present. And I feel like Lev don't like what they're feeling. Like whatever this is, they don't love it. Um, Hydro Homie as well in the YouTube chat. Thank nervous. you so much, man. Appreciate you doing that. Also, welcome in. Thank you so much, B, dude. Again, if you're going towards B here, they can come at you from three different angles. Will they use that revolving door? Create any sort of pressure? Are they going to push through to waterfall? Is there some sort of read that I don't know about? Great timing on those paint shells. How does he know to use it then? Maybe the smoke timing from the attacker yeah, side. Yeah, must be the smoke timing. Could get some pressure left. here though. He's got support and now the door gonna oh. be tested. You're looking at the likes of Benji to Got try a good and molly here though. The flood. They're on the way though. And the blender oh, would have got an incredible the molly. They gotta go back to B. Over rotate for heretics death. from two. However, Can't really blame them on this one. Woot. <laughs> <trying to pull laughs> yeah, we got but no more attempt. power on the smoke on the wall because of the smoke. This is a good mid rounding. One. It's just, just, just. <laughs> it was real close to this one. Uh, mid rounding was really good once again from King. He, he's had some uh, good cancels at the moment. That was getting so scary. 18 seconds left. The Viper Orb timing coming up. That Killjoy Molly on top of it can't break through. But Team Heretics, they're running two players through Waterfall there. They can't get back and stop this plant. It's behind cover. It's all on Woot. He can't get away. Lev, get that pistol. That's my and suddenly... entry breach. Let's go. That's a smile. Again, we have a game on our hands. And we're seeing them alive <laughs> yeah. again. And he's having, yeah. a, he's having a rough game, so he's trying to like hype him up and a lot. I like that. The gap. They can bring this back. This could be a 2-0. 2-2 uh, for pistols. However, yeah. Boo, he's got his haunt. Ready to come over top. But I don't know what other abilities they're going to use. They just have to swing together. They just have classics at the moment. A paranoia as well if they need it. Looks like Woot is ready to do it. But that par that Prowler spots them. It becomes so obvious because who, who plays with a classic this close, aggressive. like on an eco, unless you have um, you multiple know, people here. So. It was nicely done from left to wax one out. Brawl, willing to do it here, very composed. Maybe looking to read for any sort of pocket plays, any sort of set pieces. Really nice. The fact that they kept that sat deep, showing that they can shift gear here a little. Woo. Thing. Goes on scathed. Prowler uh, might they're catch so aware. They're so aware. Oh, especially off seeing the kind of. Paranoia, the horn coming through, the exactly. crowd, everything. You, you're thinking it's a stack. You're thinking it's going to be a trap there. And again, doing the due diligence. You like to see <laughs> it. A nice try, Rien. And rinse That's repeat. so good. Go again. Lev, this is really nice. Like, if you're going to talk about yeah, it, it was great from Lev here. Yeah, they, they actually just they fought and were. We had no a risks. Great read by Lev there. Understand yeah, zero the stack risks on this. It was awesome. Off the back of the camera from Tex out A, getting that information. Hey, they're not here at all. Be careful. Go slow. Yeah, and we're just letting the breach uh, hunt back, on this, this making sure that we're one away from the ult. So, uh, Team Heretics still has that doable lead. for Lev, man. When we look at Great round. the game so far, it's been very chaotic. It's been a lot of these very early fights, but that's not the style that Team Heretics likes to play on their defense side. They like to sit back, have these trap setups, force the enemy to actually commit, and then go for the retakes. That is I what they're strongest side, at. But I don't trust even in my shadow, and I cleared him. <laughs> up to Team Heretics to set the tone here, to tell them you're on our playground ground right now you play by our rules <laughs> you people that can get one shot to nine and the closest player in his team has got eight kills <laughs> well they woo <laughs> and penji okay pleasure to get to watch him play we don't <laughs> often get to see yeah, this is a nice one no one's shot this fade eye so Hands you on. tell that no one's even close to try and punish this today. the walk up middle though at the same time as this lev just using c as a little bit Bro, of lev hate. takes so much map probably oh. go through the revolving door oh. but re-ends oh. <laughs> in case they needed. A what is of that? On their side. Why not? And they're going to go on this. I quite like All that. Right, dude, Mazino is having an outrageous half. Up. 
reactive, and it works wonders. Look at this guy, reigning supreme. Massive impact. The back of a blind shot that worked. Sometimes you get them. Now they get the plant too. Boo and Woot, irrelevant to this round. Converted bonus you gotta, for Lev. You gotta go save. A save from Team Heretics. Yeah, you gotta go save. That's where we start as well. doing yeah. this for the money. Yep. All of these. Must be nice to have an Aspas in your team. <laughs> Must be nice. How do you lose? But they weren't losing all that often until, you know, was it Trace happened? <laughs> They're doing pretty good. True. Right now, though, Lev showing why they're veterans. That championship level quality coming through here. Team Heretics, they are the rookies, and they're showing so much determination and grit, but they're starting to slip a little bit. Icebox, they had Lev on the ropes a couple of different times. Lev turned it around and stole it away. Team Heretics, again, in the lead on Lotus. This is one of their stronger maps here. They need to be looking to close this out. So losing those first players at the start of the round, they can buy, not like, looking pretty for these guys. Behind this, that's Gonna about have it. To do a little bit of a mix by, maybe even let Lev get up to that 8-8 eight, eight tied score line. But again, can they set the tempo? Can they make Lev play by their rules? Or is Rose Lev 22 to 9. Dude, look at this right now. All around them. <laughs> Let's see. No way. Sheriff's the Stingers, the two remaining Vandals. Well, two that's Vandals. That's insane. Remaining. Look at the Outlaw as well. Could be in the right place to get some good damage done. Aspas going to lead the charge. Takes at least control of the corner and then over towards Rubble. While that happens, any boot. Try and get towards his ult here. And they wait for a fight. And if you're heretics, you're probably not really wanting to give them too many early fights. This push I'm seeing by Miniboo getting really aggressive on that mound line. He is the only player between the attackers and Not that the biggest fan of the worst right gun now, taking first contact, though. I always talk a about this. Loose, flexible setup towards that A and B. Not really anticipating this. And a great shot. Goes down there, that site's going to be way opened up. And no util for that one as well. Just a straight up swing. Straight up swing. Straight up swing of your uh, face. Extended forwards and already in the site is Aspas. He took a little bit of damage. But Dude, look at the util. Here as well. Team Heretics. They're fighting. They're trying to fight in the chaos. But you can't yeah. play against these guys like this. They were made for this sort of chaos. Look, it's so cool under all that pressure. And it's dwindling. There needs to be a timeout for Heretics because Leviathan have turned up in this half. Sharp as hell. Left. A scary prospect. And Aspas, this ult locked in, ready to go. Scoreline will be back. All even, Benji, come on! Okay. <laughs> what? Are you gonna shut me up? <laughs> I'm down to learn my lesson, Benji. <laughs> but how are you gonna find the last two? Because suddenly they thought the round was done. Brought back to attention. Vandal in hand. He's running low on time oh. and he knows it. Five seconds, or not five oh seconds. Oh my, five he actually had a chance. Three. So insane, isn't it? Valiant attempt. So close. It was a damn really good nice try, yeah. Attempt. You, you got to give credit where it's true. He, he, he tried damn hard for that one, but eight apiece, Josh. Oh, it would have been one of the most insane rounds. Out for heretics now. I would be inclined to agree. They still have theirs. They had such Look control of that well. first half. Smiling, and, yeah, smiling, happy. They know they're in control. The body language of Lev in previous matches as well hasn't looked this good. It, it's been not happy, tense, not smiling, yeah. tense. Yeah, you can feel it in the air, in the room. And Team Heretics right now leaning on those coaches for their experience, for their, a, a different perspective. Maybe icing the players out a little bit just to keep them calm. <laughs> every every time there's a close round, mind them of comes always doing that. Even. Right it, is, it is a very different environment. If you, as much as Heretics have been, obviously, a, a highlight to witness, a, a very strong team as of late, the caliber on Lev is a different quality. I mean, we have champions, winners in that team. We have the highest caliber possible. So they keep their, you know, their, their cool under all of the scrutiny, all of the high tempo rounds, they're fine. And you've got Aspas having a in that oh. team. We have the highest caliber possible.
I mean, so they keep their, you know, their, their cool under all of the scrutiny, all of the high tempo rounds, they're fine. And you've got Aspects having a nutty game, right? And on the other side, I don't think anyone's slouching to Heretic. But what are you going to do when Aspects is up on 23 to 10? Like, how are you going to stop a superstar having these sort of games? It's also difficult when you switch your composition. They're taking the composition that Fnatic runs. This isn't what Team Heretic um, has been running all year. Shao thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Mixture. They weren't on that double controller. I've gifted as well, dude. So 30, no, 53 altogether, Shower. Thank you so much. They still don't have as many reps. Like all this, man, you know what to do. Let's yeah. see it. But also, they should be used to playing, be playing against a breach comp. Our man, appreciate you. Uh, that's a they very good point. Answers, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're not wrong with that. <laughs> but let's see what the timeouts could. Hey, up. Heretics aggro A, and it looks valuable. like Actually, they've just uh, won it the insta. Awesome really good concepts for them. Give them a couple of rounds. At least here. pressure or make uh, it look like they're going C to pop C the mollies. Oh no, we're sending. But Aspas is in the door. How much can one man do? <laughs> Wait, this is awesome from him. No way, this is sick. Dude, the path thing was cool, though. The double, the, the satchel into sight, and then the satchel direct up to use your ult. Has to peel away, but at least does some damage. And his ult actually gets him to the top of sight. That was awesome. Spike still not planted, and Team Heretics inching up, looking like they want to take this fight early, but the stun's gonna force them off. The plant's gonna go down. Mini boot, can he stop the Bam it. They're trying. Yeah, I, I like this from Mizino though. He goes in the middle. Zeno Most lives. people choose left or right. Closing the gap, and actually a TP towards sight. Good cross he's got the paranoia. He's got the smoke in too, but they've got four The Omen Flash here, should be everything here. At the moment, it's like itself. four no of them, three of them are going to eat it. One or two. Good paranoia could be everything. That's three. fantastic. But can they do the damage? What a fade eye. Dude, what a fade eye. No. As soon as the Omen Flash goes out, fade eye goes in. Taking another round into Sick. their hands. And a beautiful post plant as well. Dude, they've they got a really the strong attack right now. All sat around that elbow area. Calm had his horn in his hand, ready for that. They knew, okay, there's going to be a smoke. There's going to be a paranoia. They're going to come in with this, and then I'm going to use that haunt. Even if you guys get paranoid, guess what? You're going to be able to see them. You're going to, I'm going to scan them. So great composure there at the site, playing together side oh, by side. Shout out to the replay team and shout out to you for noticing that. I love that. Got a little lost in the source, but even Asper's happy with it. Yeah, nah, he's <laughs> that, happy with the fade out there, right? I'm pretty sure. Either that or he's here. happy with his own performance. Up soon, but you're going to start feeling like this game is slipping away from you. We thought this veto would be kind of mid to back loaded for Heretics. Map one would have been very strong for Lev, which eventually it was, but they had a very competitive series on. This is, is Imagine just clapping yourself after a round. Kind of feel it, in the <laughs> it was a good round from him, though. Here, I would be all right with it. In the hands of Lev, especially after that round. Economy being broken, not a problem. Team Heretics can rebound. Spirits being broken, different story. Can they keep their heads Dude, everything right is so perfect right now. A pivot towards B. Dex holding to try and catch any stragglers making it through on the rotation. Nice. Oh, oh. clean from Tex. Confidence as well. Boom, woot. Looking irrelevant to outcome. Tex, Damn. go and walk about and getting rewarded. This could be the downfall really of strong, man. right here right now. Leviathan we get a plant as well. We're one away from a breach or this game. Double digits made and in touching to lose. distance. Look at the streak of rounds. It's been six in a row for Lev. Team Heretics is usually so good at doing retakes, but right now they're not playing their game. Lev is controlling everything, forcing this chaos, <laughs> forcing Team Heretics into these yes. unusual fights. Yes. They're not used to eco it. They kills, I can't love them. convert it. I live and for right the now, ecos. Lev is just <laughs> playing them apart from the inside out. Dude, 26. 26, man. Aspas is farming. The good and the great. Leviathan showing depth, capability, tempo changes, everything you want to be seeing, and the superstar performance from their superstar. But it's not over yet. A couple of volts here in the hands of Heretics. But Lev showing early presence towards A. That lockdown is going to be a huge tool to use in a retake right now, but Rien's in the site. I'm surprised we don't go for any orbs here. Dead? Okay, we do. Yeah, so they clear this first to make sure they can't get spammed. Oh, it's nice, man. Yeah, do we? We're out here making zero mistakes. Actually, gets affected by it, and he goes down. Look at this player by player. They are dropping the side. Right, they, this attack half is a masterpiece right now. No way! Oh, come on! It's so clean. It's so good. <laughs> Look at them all, bro. Dude, the observing's clean on this round as well. The heretics. If I'm their coach, if I'm the IGL, I'm, I'm calling another timeout if I got one, because this game is falling away from you. You thought you had a chance. You thought wrong. 
We got a bullet connected, that was it. Game. They tried to set up for that retake, but getting bumped out of the position off this Rolling Thunder. Oh man, that all, wall. that Texel all wrecked him. Gets that hat like off, and that information as fast this flick, right? Oh, oh. it's poetry <laughs> in motion watching them play right now. Everything's hitting, the reads are right. They've got it all. It's hard not to enjoy Lev when they oh look God, this strong here. Again, Heretics, they're calling this timeout. They need to get something discussed right now. The coaches need to keep a these weird buy. They're all sitting at like 3,400. They're winning their opening duels. Nope. They're getting split apart. No trade kills happening. It's uh, Benji out in the, out of position. We saw uh, out at Sea Mound as well. Many Theo, down once. he might at be Blue blind, Door, but for some reason you watch Lev There's and you no just don't feel like they should be winners of a final down, team. Am I just a hater? Yeah, pretty much. From everyone. But the way that Lev is <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Players dude. here, there, everywhere. At outside A, it's Tex a couple times. We saw it here, catching two in the back. <laughs> We've seen him over at Fair A enough. as well. The positioning from all these uh, players. I think so. It, it's a lot down to... I think you got to... The individuals are good, man. Needs to just but have you? I mean, the attack. Both of their right attack halves on these maps have been so strong. It's not looking like, like they're, they're not actually making too many here. mistakes. If you look at that icebox game, rounds, it looks like they're yeah, I felt like the, the rounds they were Ragnarok. losing were because of their mistakes as well. So the when they, when they play they flawlessly, it does feel like Leva. Like they should just be winning the rounds. Is it a hot take to say that Tex is the best player for Leva in recent times? You're gonna ask me that on a on a. Now, game where he's 27 to 12. To Come on, man. Form. Hey, I mean, you got to pick your timing. For deep runs and they are trophy hunters. And at, the, at this point, they're showing that caliber. We digress as there's still an opportunity and a chance for Heretics. Eight rounds to 11 isn't impossible, but it's how Lev got to that 11. It has been consecutive. Oh, off the rip. Re In a couple of uh, aggro a ults. But how are they going to dissuade what's coming their way? Benji's yeah, but as soon as you know Fade is uh, sorry, as soon as you know Viper's in there, there's no double blockers. A, a lockdown here, Ambitious. He is being absolutely spammed out by every piece of util. Does that reach? They could send. Oh. Already the pain shell's coming in. Did he manage to keep it secure enough? I think he did, yeah. Lev have to try and escape quickly. That's what's going to get caught. Yeah, <laughs> someone protect him. That. Control of the round. Rian still has a lockdown. Boo has that alarm bot, but he's lost his duels at B. Three players to defend this C site and that nightfall as yeah, well. Yeah, him, him going close and finding this alarm bot would nightfall really so help away things. That this rehit five versus three surely goes in the favor of Lev again. They're so good at this. Really? Game. I feel like Heretic should be okay here. Yeah. On the way in, the killer instinct. The pivot back. Perfect. That's great. Be the great call on this one. It's gonna be a five man. 30 seconds left. Oh, the nice. Boo, you gonna go for it? Waiting, maybe? Waiting for his team. Five yeah, because there was no one to capitalize on it. Now they have three over towards now. spawn no, that are good to go in. Almost everything, it's four. One. They should have got at least four on that. And now they gotta go. Tex under scrutiny. Mini Boo removes. It's Benji on the follow up. And now Heretics hammering it off. <laughs> People are just jumping around every single corner. Okay, this is nice from Heretics. I also think the actual game. round Nine itself rounds. on the call from um, King was good was as well. On a knife's edge. And I talk about this for a reason. Team Heretics, five versus five. They get their retake off, they're winning it. They had four live at the end of the round there. They are in full control when it gets to be into these situations, but they haven't been able to get into these positions to begin with. They've always been picked apart and lost that one crucial player that makes everything else fall apart. If Team Heretics is able to replicate this sort of environment, where they can go into that retake in that five versus five, they actually have a chance at this game. And that's got to feel like a breath of fresh air after being absolutely beaten and broken by Lev. You look at the string of rounds, it's hard not to feel that, to feel how oppressive that can be. But it took a lot that time. We saw the Viper's Pit, we saw the Nightfall, we Back saw off. so many ults. Two Keyed people fighting C. Maybe a fight over towards A early on Ooh, as well. Do pretty we sure he just saw him and take a shot here. Particularly. Both sides get to keep their lives here, but the firing squad from Lev has rounds to play with. They can be a little confident. Uh, and take a risk or two. they might have to get Boo out of here. This bait needs to be perfect. Camera spots him. He backs away. Keeps Good. his life. Five on five still. Good timing for Boo there. As I said, highly volatile in these scenarios. Tex has that op up on the attack side, looking to see if there's any jiggle or jump spot from any of the defending players here. Get a little bit of information, curiosity, but they don't know. This, I mean, Aspas hitting over towards site here. Yeah. Behind that tall box. Ooh, operator, yeah. Should First just be, should just be the site here. A bit of a switch up here in round 21. 
Ah, oh, dude, I, I feel sorry for Rins at the moment. He's got a lot to do. He needs to get out of there, really. Waiting for someone to slip up. 40 seconds. Time's going down. Blue door still intact, but many be waiting for it, expecting it. That's fast. Often it's just to make sure they're safe on the side. He can kind of blindly send it towards CT. Hope Ooh. they would find someone. It, it probably won't here. Very yeah, but they still get the full space. They still get over towards site. Okay, the main thing at the TP moment is Mini Boo one away from a kill. Line, also, so Wu TP's line. over the trip. They have no idea he's behind. None the wiser so far. King is there as well. He hears. That's the camera sees him. Rattle, but it's Rien's to find oh, he has no idea. The guy's close and left. Dude, what pressure. is this? There's a guy next to him. Towards the front, but down to a three v three now. It's messy. Backline is King. The two players still on the site. Aspas and Khan, but they're removed, leaving just Aspas. The monster himself still stands, and oh. that's what he could do, though. But they're on the defuse. I don't oh, know. Oh, he thinks he's off he's it. Wiser. He has no idea. He has absolutely lovely, no Lovely, man. Idea. Lovely. Benji hit two nice shots. In. This one, and, and obviously the side one. The game out to 10. Dude, the um, down, he shoots we did good to get one, really. Like, that, that tapped, flank was everything. starts coming in. He hasn't heard it. He's none the wiser. Lev, they call a timeout here because what's happening? Two rounds in a row. Is this the start of the comeback for Team Heretic? King, right he's now? so busy calling that there's people going through the um, Hobbit there. Retake situation, and they clean up yeah, so that I think, well. And I also think the camera went to spot over that. towards Let's Hobbit unless he got shot early. Really That's why we really sped up. There's a lot going down in like five seconds. But they're keeping numbers up. They're playing the retakes well. They're taking the space. They're getting those flanks in. Everything changing for Heretics, but do you think Lev can then maybe double down a little bit more? You know, what's the next layer for them? If suddenly you've got Heretics going, guys, we, we play retake, that's what we do, that's what we're good at. What are we doing? Taking these scrappier fights, letting them determine the pace. Why did we make sound? He thought the, the camera saw him. Situation. The problem sped right up. now is Heretics is doing such a good job in these last two rounds of giving the perfect amount of resistance yes. to Lev to make them use so much time, so much resources, the utility to get onto that site that by the time the five versus five retake comes in, Lev is tapped dry. True. So right now, what can Lev do differently? They can start doing these, uh, utilizing the broken door, at the, the blue door area, the revolving doors. So when they put pressure on Team Heretics, not only are they softening up the defenses, but they're depositing players. We saw this from Text earlier Bro, Mazzino well. went from one in the half to second top fragger. You actually go for your final hit. Now you can in access activate from the sidelines, get those flanks off. Now you're going to convert some rounds. Team Heretics, they just go straight into you. Yeah. Game on. What's the look now? Oh, I'll find you behind the box. Slow opening as well. Lev doesn't I mean, want to get spammed though, right? Too many traps yeah. in the same setup from last round. Team Heretics get spammed. That's devastating, but so good for Lev. Cage trigger. Tech's gonna be noted. And I quite like the mini boost trying to clear a little bit of space behind that, show a little bit of presence by door, maybe dissuade this instant C lean, but will Lev even fall for that? They may not care. Look at it. Uh, they're in. Heretics is scrambling off of this. Ooh. They don't know what to do, where to go. Once they lose right? there, it, they still need to play the <laughs> Opens the door, sure gets a breach show out of him. Paranoia. But right now, Lev has a sight. They're going to get that spike planted. And does Aspas shut him up in time? He does. Taking down Mini Boo, leaving Rienz, who's a mile away. Unable to affect the yeah, outcome they're gonna have two, this round. two chances to do this. clean work from Lev, but again, that instantaneous loss. It felt like too much of a gamble. Poison's off. It was the exact same setup they ran from the previous round. Lev did not go towards C. They didn't punish that. But as soon as he goes down, what happens? Heretics, they scramble. Instead of playing that four versus five, going yeah. for the retake, it's, as soon as they hear that spike get tapped, instantly they try to uh, Swarney, 74 with the Prime. Thank offer, you so much for the two months, man. Thank you, thank you. At the same time, they My point of view, what's the biggest so difference between this year and champs of last year? I mean, the, there's a lot of there's a lot more teams right that can win it this year, that's for sure. Again, last year, I think there was only four this teams that could probably point. actually win it. Whereas this feels really open. Back and go to Haven. This next round, they can't um, and, and of course, just up. the overall play is just a lot better from Top multiple ten. teams. That's why. Oh, and even like the, the floor of play is just way high. Here we go. It's it's aim for OT, or it's pretty much GG on this one. Map one was Lev's, and it felt like they slipped back into what wasn't working for Heretics, Ooh. they got caught off here. Yeah, Again, so close pick, to hit him. close him. enough, sure. He whipped his ult. He whipped Did you win not favorite last year? No, but you at least knew that they could win it. Uh, like with how good they were playing. Still.
easy. 29 for that he, man. He can't see you if you stand still. True. Uh, but we, we again, got to stay focused on this because it's, it's a shoddy buy. All right, two chances, and yeah, the buy is logs. not great. They're missing a good amount of util as well, right? No prowlers on defense. Of this tournament. TP there for King. And an early look towards that C side of the map. 2-1-2 spread from Team Heretics as well. Heretics Lotus pick instead of the sunset. Yeah, they might be thinking the same after this as well. play for the attackers. But still, if they lose this round, there's another one. So building that ultimate towards one of these players could be important. Here comes that split. I did say that the Heretics game, because they beat Fnatic purely on aim, it's not like the most consistent thing. It didn't feel crazy comfortable. The Stinger, it's not enough. Oh, the they found the Stinger as well. Uh, the Boy, these site, two get hit by the Tether. Oh, only one. Heretic's looking to maybe clear some space over towards water, but the firing squad is waiting. Rien's, that's a lot of people. Wait, that's not bad. <laughs> no <laughs> way. That is solid trades from Lev on this one. There's to lose them miles away. Mini Boo and Woot. Woot has Omen Flash. The post plant's going to be set up. The flank coming in from Woot. He does have a smoke. He does have paranoia, but... They're spread apart. They need to win their isolated duels. Lev, they're such close together. They're ready to trade. They're ready to move together and pivot. Woot's going to be able to at least clear Mount. He knows they're not out here. But still, Miniboo looking to be overwhelmed. They want to try and close down on this. Does Woot get no as well? Mizino half checked it. Here. Oh, he gave his position away. Off. Heretics starting to flounder, starting to falter. And Damn, bro. Shout out to Lev, me. man. They played really well. Both of these attack halves were really strong from them. Uh, his calling was great as well on loads of the cancel rounds, but it was awesome. They didn't like what we were saying. They closed it out in two. Could, uh, you got to you got to mention Aspas as well. I don't know what he ended on, but it was like 29, I think.